Friends, today we begin Holy Thursday. In the Gospel from St. John, we hear the Last Supper, and it takes up five chapters in John's Gospel, chapters 13 through 17, with also a lengthy discourse of Jesus Christ. Now, the only action that occurs is right at the very beginning, when Jesus washes the feet of his disciples. Foot washing occurs only in John's Gospel. We don't see it in Matthew, Mark, or Luke. And so it's clearly something of importance. Now, what could be the meaning of this? Well, I think there's three levels that can be identified in this foot washing. First, it's an act of humble service. Jesus completely overturns social expectations. Peter's reaction indicates this, but it's not simply an act of humility. It's a prophetic action to show the true meaning of Jesus, loving his own to the end. Second, it's an act of friendship. Jesus will later call his disciples friends. Service between friends is not something expected or demanded. It's an expectation of love. This transcends the master-servant understanding. This, too, is a prophetic action showing that Jesus' death is his gift of self out of love for us all. Third, foot washing is a gesture of welcome. Travelers, dusty from walking, would be welcomed into a house by having their feet washed. Jesus is welcoming his friends into the household of God, into God's family. This is also prophetic. This happens again when on the cross Jesus gives his mother and his beloved disciple as the beginning of the new family of God. In John's Gospel, there is no description of the institution of the Eucharist. The focus instead is on Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. He washes the feet of Judas, fully aware that Judas will soon betray him. When he washes the feet of Peter, the apostle responds with the characteristic stubbornness, questioning Jesus' actions. While Jesus says little about the meaning of his act, beyond the instruction that it's what we must also do. The significance of this act itself tells his early followers, and all of us, what we need to know. Jesus is teaching us that our true identity is to be servants to each other in his own image. With Judas, we are reminded of our call to love and serve, even those people that hurt or even betray us. For Peter, we learn that while we might be inclined to be stubbornly refuse help, the appropriate response is to graciously accept the care that other people offer us. Jesus' servant heart, his sacrifice, his love for us are all revealed every time we pray, every time we engage stewardship, every time we receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Perhaps the invitation to us for this Holy Thursday is not only to pray in gratitude for Jesus' act of humble service, which sets the example for us all, but also to recall how we have been aided by the love and the care of other people in our lives. And now we remember that as we pray for them today and each and every day of our life. Stay spiritually strong, everybody.